Hey guys, John Ryan here again from IGN. We're looking at Sugarcane in CSGO's Demolition Mode, the uh, weird combo of arms race and defusal mode. Uh, we're starting off as counter-terrorists who have to bust in and stop the terrorists from planting any bombs. Um, if you go up the top of this ladder here, you'll find a kind of maze of catwalks uh, and multiple levels uh, that's actually really cool for you to be able to move around in and then give some really, really good spots uh, to get some really nice vantage points. Uh, you can go up this ladder and stand on top of this office here, uh, which gives you a really good overlook on pretty much the entirety of the room uh, if you move around the sides of it. Uh, you can also stay down on the main catwalks, which is the technically third level up. We're gonna kill this guy if we can. Uh, 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 gotcha. And that's the end of that first round. Uh, moving on to the P90, we're going to want to probably stay on the second level worth of catwalks. Uh, maybe even the ground level. Just because uh, the P90 has a really high rate of fire, but unless you're, you know, moving really slowly and, and aiming very carefully, its accuracy is not that great. So we're going to stay close uh, in as close as safety allows uh, for uh, contact with the enemy. In fact, uh, we're going to roll around over here onto the other side. There's a really good hallway where most of the, uh, the terrorists actually enter the warehouse from. Uh, we've got to be careful, though, uh, because they can also, of course, go into the catwalks above you. So always be mindful of your surroundings, as, as I always say. Um, and as Liam Neeson says, and Batman says, uh, because, you know, I mean, death can come from anywhere, and you've got to be careful of it. So, yeah, mind your surroundings, look up, look front, look back. I'm going straight along these catwalks here. He's a friend of ours. Uh, it's a great way because the cat, the room dead li dead ahead of us uh, down on that second level is actually the bomb room. You can see the uh, markings on the floor. It's a great way to kind of snag some kills of people choose the guy who's trying to plant the bomb, someone protecting the bomb planter. Um, but always, of course, check behind you just in case. Uh, and then down the floor level, uh, if you've got a little more accurate weapon or you've got the time to line some really good shots, you can actually get some good shots between the piping and down along the sides of the uh, heavy machinery. And these are really close quarters. These are really good for uh, high caliber handguns, uh, shotguns, uh, assault weapons. Uh, in our case we're using the Deagle right now. Um, but yeah, they're really uh, really close quarters so you want to keep moving really quickly uh, and have that trigger finger real itchy for whenever you might need to use it next. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the terrorist side of things. If, uh, if you start off as a terrorist and you actually move up this ramp uh, at the uh, at your spawn point, you'll start on the top level of catwalks uh, next to this secondary office right here. You can jump over the railing. Um, this is a good little vantage point just to uh, make sure to clear the other catwalks or office tops of any resistance and uh, get a scope of where the enemy positions are, as well as maybe taking up the kills. But, you know, it also runs the risk of you getting killed in return, being so exposed and high up like that. So, just be mindful whilst you're up there, and uh, take it easy. You can also go around, uh, if you go to the left of the building, you'll find a door. Uh, however, you can go through here. Oh, crap, flashbanged. Uh, if you get flashbanged, the best thing you can do is just to try and, like, remember which direction you came from and just head straight back that way unless you came through a small door uh, in which case you don't want to try and get through because you just get stuck on a wall and you get shot to death. Nice. Again you do you want to try and be as accurate as possible even with a gun like the P90. Um, so yeah keep moving stay between levels and uh, always mind your surroundings, especially in sugarcane. So yeah, that'll do it for this map. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for more CSGO videos here on IGN.